it is Lauren for another week of YouTube channels. I'm actually sticking to my plan of making them because I am so, have so much fun making these and I hope you guys have as much fun watching them as I have making them. So today's video is going to be a CVS haul because I absolutely love hauls and I think I could like peacefully die in CVS. I absolutely love CVS. If ever I'm bored in this town near me that has a CVS, I literally will just go to CVS and can spend hours there. Like, if I'm meeting someone and I have, like, a weird amount of time, I, like, bra I don't know why. Like, reading the little labels on everything, absolutely love. And just seeing new products, it just gets me, like, really happy. So, I'm going to show you guys all the products I got and hope you enjoy. So, I just have a little pile next to me of stuff, so I'll just be grabbing it. And the first thing I got was... Um, this Tresemme shampoo. It is keratin smooth with maroya oil, and I don't know if I'm saying that, marula oil? I don't know. Um, but it has anti-frizz, detangle, shine, soften, and tames flyaway, and I got the shampoo and conditioner. I have a weird thing about how I need to have, like, matching shampoos and conditioners, so I gotta buy them together. But, um... This, I've actually used, I've actually used all of this stuff. Like, I have a weird thing where, like, right when I buy something, from CVS especially, I, like, have to use it right away. So, I just kind of gathered everything up in my bathroom, bedroom, and brought it here. But I use this stuff, and my hair is actually so soft after I use it. I kind of like switching my shampoos, like, every time I use them. Like, every time I wash my hair, I use a different one, just to, like... I don't know why, I read somewhere that like your hair isn't supposed to get used to a certain shampoo, so I just try to switch it up. But I use this, and I love it. And I'm pretty sure it smells really good. It's just, yeah, it smells really good. It just smells like clean shampoo, but I got these. Um, the next thing I got was these L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronzing um, Towelettes. I, like, could go to the beach every day, except... All my friends work, and I'm currently looking for a job, so I'm not working, but I go to the beach every day, and I just don't, because I don't want to be by myself. But I could easily go and just, like, read a book or something. But I want to be tan by the end of summer, so I got these. They're just little single packets. Um, I'm, I kind of was little tan to begin with. I think I'm, like, kind of tan, but... Um, I got in the shade medium, and these actually work really well, but you do have to watch out when you're doing your ankles, because I made a mistake, and, like, I did my whole body, and then I, like, feel like my feet need to be a little tan, so I just, like, swiped it on my foot, and it was, like, a complete streak on my foot, and it just looked weird. So, just be, uh, cautious when you're using these, but these are working great, and they, like, aren't, they're streak-free, and they give you a really nice summer glow, so these are necessary. Um, the next thing I got, I'm obsessed with scrunchies, and as you can see, I already, um, tore into it. It had a black, oh, I have them right next to me, actually. These are the two I've been using, just the black and white, because they're neutral colors. But these scrunchies are just really good. I have really thick hair. When it's, like, not straightened, it's very thick. Um, and so I've just been using these, just simple, they're goodies. Um, so there's that. Um, the next thing I got, it went along with the shampoo. It's a Tresemme, um, Miracle... What is it called? Deep Soothing Mask. It's it's like the same brand as the shampoo, like with the keratin smooth and the marula, marula oil, however you say it. Um, but it's just like a leave-in mask, not a leave-in mask, a deep repair mask. So I just wanted to try that because I just like having one on hand for when I feel like my hair is very damaged. So I use that. Um, the next thing I got are these Burt's Bees. Okay, I never know how to say this word actually, but... I will try to pronounce it. It's the micellar, 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 I don't know. It's like, it's that one. Um, but I am know, like, I'm, there's going to be comments saying I said that wrong and how to pronounce it, and I've looked it up, but I always forget, and I always pronounce it wrong. But these are the cleaning, cleansing towels, and they remove makeup, clean, and hydrate, three in one. They're by Burt's Bees. I honestly will buy a pack like this and take one out and, like, rip it in half or in a third because I kind of just, like, I like getting the makeup off and then washing my face just so, like, my actual skin gets clean compared to just, like, taking off my makeup. So I only need a little, like, I don't need a full towelette. But, so, like, these actually last a while because there's only 30 in, yeah, there's only 30 towelettes in here. But if you break them into thirds, you triple it and you get 90 for the price of 30. So, little fun fact. 
Um, anyway, the next thing I got, I already took them all out and put them, but these little clips. I actually have one in my hair right now holding it up. Um, but I'm obsessed with these little clips. They really help when I am doing my hair. I just completely lost my train of thought. But these help when I'm doing my hair and, like, straightening it and stuff because I clip it up. Um, anyway, the next thing I got, I've actually been loving this. It's the Jergens Natural Glow, but it's for just your face. Um, it has daily moisturizer with sunscreen in it, SPF 20. Um, but I just put this on my face every morning so I get a little um, protection for the day. But also, I get a little tan on my face because I'm about that tan. Um, but this is really nice. And it actually kind of smells good. So look out for that at CVS. Um, the next thing I got, I've mentioned this so many times before. I all... Um, I always use this. It's the Tresemme Heat Tamer. Um, I'm, obs I'm obsessed with this smell. I like sometimes if I just feel like I like I use dry shampoo, but like I don't like the smell of my dry shampoo I use. I'll just like spritz this in my hair and just just go with it because it smells so good. And this always works and keeps my hair free from damage. Again, I dropped it. Whoops. Anyway. Um, the next thing I got is this sun in, just because I like bringing out my natural highlights. I don't normally, I've gotten my hair highlighted once in my whole life at a hairdresser, but every summer I would do like lemon oil, just to like naturally bring it out. But someone told me a while ago about the sun in, and so I've been using it every summer, and I think it makes my hair have nice highlights, so recommend it. Um, the next thing I got, I was just out of concealer, and... I just needed a new one, so I got this one. I like shopping at CVS for makeup, but it's a the Cover Girl. It's in the shade medium, but I just like it. I've always used this. It goes covers up all my blemishes. Um, the next thing I got was this. This is when this was a situation when I was just I had somewhere to be, but I had a weird amount of time be between going home and going back to this meeting, so I just browsed CVS for hours and not hours maybe an hour um but I got this Mark Anthony strengthening glow grow long spritz thing it's like a leave-in conditioner and they're okay this is what this is what really sold me there is caffeine in it so it's like supposed to help grow your hair longer and I think that's pretty cool I'd like people who market stuff like that for girls with crazy hair um Go yo, you get at me. But anyway, there was caffeine in it, so it's supposed to make your hair grow long, but it's also leaving conditioner, so it's supposed to help, like, obviously moisturize and condition your hair. And I've been using this, and it, okay, maybe it's the shampoo I bought that I really like, but I don't think it is, because every time I use a different shampoo and this, I still like my hair, but when I use the other shampoo, I really like my hair. But this is really good. It makes my hair really feeling smooth and soft, and honestly... I think my hair has been growing, and I don't know if it's just, like, the placebo effect of me being like, oh, I got caffeine in my hair, my hair has to be growing, or if, like, this actually is working, but I'm sold on this, and I want to buy it again. The only thing I don't like is that it's, like, the spray part really doesn't work, so I have to, like, unscrew the bottle every time and put some in my hand, but I feel like leave-in conditioner is, like, hard to spray in your hair anyway, so I don't know. I like this, so recommend 10 out of 10. Um, and finally, the last thing that I got was this Miracle Gel. It's by Sally Hansen. It's, it looks like I got black nail polish, um, but I like very, like, neutral colored nail polish, so I found this. I also, a little backstory, I really like gel nails because obviously they do stay on longer, um, but I hate painting my nails, like, going to get gel nails if my nails aren't on a good length because like I am so prone to like picking at and just like biting my nails it's a habit I'm trying to stop and I have stopped it for a little bit so they're kind of long but I felt like if I painted my nails I wouldn't bite them but every time I paint them normally I just like automatically pick it off but I feel like it felt like if I did gel then I wouldn't pick it off because I couldn't pick it off because gel is a lot harder and that was true so I got this gel Sally Hansen um, color. It's a really light, it's like pink, almost white color. So I got this and painted my nails, and then you do a top coat of this, and it's like the nail salon. Like, you don't need a UV light or anything. It literally just works like the nail salon, though. Like, you know how you, I, when you get um, 
gel nails. I lost my train of thought again. When you get gel nails, you put your hand in the UV light thing box, um, and then right when you're done, your nails are super hard, and you can just do whatever, and they don't chip. You don't need the UV box for this, but you do the coat of this, then you do this, and they're good to go. Like, I'm honestly really sold. Shout out. Sally Hansen has always impressed me. Like, they come up with really nice colors, really nice ideas for nails so I am sold on this so 10 out of 10 recommend so unfortunately that is the end of my CVS haul I absolutely love seeing everyone else's hauls so if you went to CVS recently link your video below in the comments and I will be sure to go check it out because I love seeing what everyone gets from CVS I think I actually have an addiction like if there was a addiction that was for CVS I would be the like president of it anyway um so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel so you get updates about when I post new videos, which is hopefully going to be every week. Um, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.